Encanto. So today we are making a Mirabel doll cake from the hit television show Matrix Resurrection. <laughs> it's made out of buttercream, you guys. It's pretty awesome. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is Stephanie Beatrice and today we are making a Mirabel doll cake from Encanto. Mirabel. I love saying her name. I don't get to pronounce names like that. Mirabel. Mirabel! The way that her grandma yells at her, oh my gosh, so terrifying. If my grandma ever yelled at me like that, I would just be happy that my grandma was talking to me because she passed away when I was little and I never knew her. Rest in peace, grandma. So I kind of fell in love with this movie slowly. The first time I saw it, I thought it was kind of medium, but when I was creating these doll cakes, I had the movie on loop and it just grew on me. And the music, just thinking about it, it's bumping. There's a lot of hits. Which is why today we are making a Mirabelle doll cake covered in buttercream. I did something a little bit different and it was terrifying. So I'm starting with a vanilla and strawberry cake. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Also tastes very good. I'm starting with a 10 inch round cake instead of just my normal doll cake pan. I wanted this to be a little bit more flared out and I actually don't think it was as flared out as I wanted it to be. So the next time I create a doll cake, instead of using 10 inches, I'm gonna use a 12 inch round cake. I'm adding buttercream in between each of my layers. And then I start to add cakes I created in my doll cake pan. Now to create the top layer of this cake, I used my doll cake pan, but I just didn't fill it to the top when I was baking. I knew I was gonna use this pan because I love the shape that it creates right by the waist. So I don't have to carve that much cake away. And after I stacked all of my cakes, I started to carve. And I realized that there was this gap between the cake that I baked in my doll cake pan and the 10 inch round cake. So all the cake that I carved away on the bottom layer, I used to fill that gap. And then I had to carve some more. Now when I'm covering my cakes with fondant, I don't really have to carve anything. Most of the texture that I create for the dress is just fondant layers. But I knew that because I was covering this with buttercream, I was gonna have to add texture underneath. I wanted this dress to look flowy, so I was gonna have to add some flowy curves to the side. I should have put this in the fridge and let it set up first, but I didn't. I put my doll right up to the cake and I realized that there was one too many layers of cake. So I removed the layer, added the top layer back on, and voila, a perfect length for my Meyer Bell doll. Yeah, this cake looks like a train wreck. And I still wasn't really happy with the shape of the dress. So I'm using cake ball dough to emphasize all of the curves I created. And I'm adding a crumb coat of buttercream. And then I placed my cake in the fridge for about two hours to set up. After that, I took it out and started to add my next layer of buttercream. Oh, look at that, it's so vibrant. So when I was covering my cake with this layer of buttercream, I was just trying to make sure that I didn't um, lose any of the curves that I created underneath. I wanted to make sure I highlighted them, you know, because it's very easy for that to get lost. I inserted my Mary Belt doll and covered her waist with buttercream as well. So I don't know if you can hear this, but they're doing construction right outside this wall. So if you hear a buzzsaw, that's them. Now, just like my Boba Fett cake, when I was smoothing out the texture, it kind of discolored some of my buttercream. Kind of made the whole bottom of the dress look darker. So I thinned out more of my buttercream and painted it on with a paintbrush. It's not a very smooth texture, but it looks really nice, almost like a tulle fabric. I was actually scared I wasn't gonna like it, but it looks pretty cool. Once the final texture on the bottom of my doll cake was complete, I started to add some of my fondant elements. So I'm wrapping some navy blue fondant to the bottom of the dress kind of hides the fact that it's covered in buttercream then it was time to start wrapping fondant onto the top of my cake now you could totally create the top of this cake with buttercream but why that seems like super complicated <laughs> the small fondant elements that I added to this cake saved me so much time but if you got time to waste then by all means, make the top with buttercream, make these flowers with buttercream. You do you. But I do know that if I was creating all of these flower elements with buttercream, I would be working so much slower because I would just be so stressed. If I screwed up on a buttercream flower, then I'd have to scrape it off. I'd have to reapply all the texture to the bottom layer of buttercream, and then I'd have to do the flower over again, which 
I might screw up again, which means I'm back to square one. However, I did create some of the lines on this dress with buttercream. Now you're probably gonna see this hat on a lot of upcoming videos. Working with buttercream, I have to keep the room cold all the time. And most of my body is okay, but my ears, I've got like Will Smith ears, so they're just like out. It's just so warm. Then I started to paint the top of Marivelle's dress. So I'm using a little bit of black to add some detail to the top of the cake. Uh, I was looking at several pictures and I think I got this wrong. This still looks good. And voila, my Maribel doll cake was complete. What do you think? Does it look good? Does it look as good as my fondant doll cakes? I think so. I just, I love the colors on this dress. I think the details look really nice. The only real critique I have of this is that the curves on my fondant cake are really defined. Where these are a little loosey-goosey, I guess. But those elements really give me something to work on. Now let's talk. Did you like Encanto? Did you fall in love with it slowly the way that I did? Or was it love at first sight? I'm gonna be very honest. I didn't understand Mirabelle's character until the third time that I watched the movie. I felt really bad for her when her like door doesn't glow and her abuela is like, you know, can somebody have a kid so that we can get past whatever this is it's so sad she's not appreciated now the third time that i watched it something clicked that she doesn't have any powers because she's gonna be the next abuela she has no powers because she's there to take care of the house so the house is her power right am i right is that it did i get it i don't know <laughs> Maybe I need to watch it one more time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have two more doll cakes coming your way. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Bye. When I was reading my Mother Bell doll cake, I just had no patience. I should have put my cake in the fridge to set up, but I didn't. So the cake was at room temperature, the icing was soft, and my carve looked like a dumpster fire. <laughs> Luckily, cake ball dough came to my rescue and turn this into something that I could actually be proud of. Not too shabby. Originally, I was gonna create my Miter Bell doll cake with fondant because icing kind of scared me. I mean, I've covered cakes in icing, but I've never covered a cake in icing and had to make it look like the bottom of a ball gown. But for this cake, I took the risk and it ended up being pretty cool. So I love Encanto and that scene where Maribel's door doesn't glow and her abuela like turns away, I was pissed. Abuela, like I know that she doesn't have any powers, but you still gotta love that baby, all right? I don't know what's wrong with you. That second where Maribel's just like puts her head down, you should have been there for her. What's up with you? You know what, it just hit me that Maribel doesn't have any powers because she's gonna be the next abuela, right? Am I right? I, I, I think that's right. <laughs> I think I need to watch the movie one more time just to, to make sure. I don't know if you guys know this, but cutting into a cake covered in fondant is very different than cutting into a cake covered in buttercream. With buttercream, the blade just slides down so effortlessly. But you might have to peel away some of the fondant detail. But hey, I'm down with that. So here's a clip of me pretending to ice my cake and if you watch the YouTube video you know that the turquoise buttercream went on before anything else. I basically just shot this so that I could smile at the camera. <laughs> uh...